Hi guys, it's Danny. Alright, it finally happened. My Selagini Cristata Orchid is finally in bloom and what a pretty sight she is. Alrighty, so we have one flower spike in bloom right here, but if you follow me for quite a while, you might know that I did a boo-boo <laughs> with this particular one. Now, usually you will find in articles that Selagini Cristata Orchids need a winter rest in order to bloom. Well, I think there is a bit of variety with the species and one of my viewers told me that some of them grow at a lower elevation than others, so they don't necessarily need a drastic winter rest. So when I saw the growths um, starting to develop, I gave low temperatures and not too much water to this orchid and um, yeah, she didn't really like it. So only one of the flower spikes actually survived. But that is okay, at least we have one to enjoy the blooms. So let's actually take a look at these blooms. Now, they are very similar to Calia orchids, in my opinion. I'm not sure if they're very related or if you can make crosses with them. But in my opinion, they do look kind of similar to Calia flowers. And to show you a little bit of dimension, hopefully you can see it's not a tiny flower. And the petals and everything are just so, so beautiful. Now, when the buds started to form, I was a little worried because, as you can see, they're just slightly wavy or wrinkly, so I was not sure what was happening. But I did see on the internet that some Cristadas have these wavy petals to them and some not so wavy. So again, it might be a little bit of variation, so it depends on the particular individual. Now, the blooms are just... wow. I don't know. I absolutely love them. They are pure white with this beautiful yellow center. And it's not any type of yellow. It's such a vivid orangish yellow. Looking at them, they remind me of eggs. Yeah, don't ask me why, but they just do. It's just such, such a pretty sight. And in the throat of the orchid, you can see the yellow actually goes into a very noticeable orange absolutely gorgeous. Now, some sources suggest that this orchid is fragrant. To be honest, I don't notice much of a fragrance. Mind you, this orchid has been open for just two days right now, so maybe the fragrance didn't fully develop. If I stick my nose into the flower though, I can feel a sort of a smell like, like a sweet apple of some sorts, but I'm not sure if this is the end of the story. So I will not post an ID page on Orchid Nature on this orchid just yet. I will wait a few more days and give you all the details where this orchid comes from, um, dimensions, fragrance and all of that. And I'll share the link towards that article right here when it's going to be posted in a few days. I just want to wait a little bit for the whole flower spike to fully open. But I did want to film because I wanted to show you the bud. So if you ever see this type of bud on your Selagini Cristata, don't really worry. The bloom seems to be quite fine and you're just gonna get a wavy, curly kind of like bloom. But it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, here's a good shot of the flower. Really, really pretty as you can see. Alrighty, let's talk a little bit about the orchid. As you can see, it produces quite big pseudobulbs with good conditions they can get quite large kind of round kind of oval but very very plump and nice and also they produce uh, usually two leaves per pseudobulb and the flower spikes usually emerge at the base of each pseudobulb now during summertime this orchid goes through its growing stage where it actually forms pseudobulbs and leaves and all of that and come autumn or winter it starts to produce the flower spikes as I was saying, there are some varieties which really do need a proper and kind of drastic winter rest. Mine didn't need that. So next year with this particular individual, I will not go through a very drastic winter rest. I will give it the drop in temperature which my climate will naturally provide, but I will really not go overboard. If you have a different type of selogeny which does well with the winter rest you provide, go ahead and provide the winter rest. because. I am really not that experienced just yet with Selagenes. As you might notice, this orchid has some really awful looking leaf tips. Now this happened when I actually placed this orchid very close to a hot window during summertime and I was not careful to properly water it and the media stayed dried for way too long so really I wouldn't keep this orchid very dry. That was Jackie. 
I would keep it evenly moist, particularly during summertime, especially if the temperatures are pretty high, and try to keep this orchid pretty much sheltered from very, very hot air or heat sources. Other than that, I gave it as bright light as I could, not necessarily direct sunshine, but bright, bright light nonetheless. Now, those were a few care tips. Again, I'm not the expert when it comes to these guys, and this particular one does not follow any rules that I read on the internet. So for this one, I actually kept it warm when I noticed that the growths were dying. I brought it back to my balcony, kept it warm, kept watering it whenever the media felt kind of dry to the touch. I gave it some water and uh, yeah, luckily one of the flower spikes made it and it bloomed. And I'll just give you another close up of the flower because I'm not sure if you notice how pretty and fringy the lip is. Everything yellow is really, really fringy and pretty. I cannot tell you how much I love it and really it did not let me down. I was really looking forward to the flowers of this orchid and it's not letting me down. It will be nice if it has a fragrance as well. So I was saying nothing majorly spectacular so far, but we're just gonna see. In a few days I'll make the article, I'll come back with a few more details, so check the description below and also if you want to learn more check the article when I'm gonna be posting it. If you're interested in purchasing this orchid in Europe, this particular one was purchased at Schwerter, I'll link you below to the website. So this is what they carry, the version that doesn't necessarily need a proper proper winter rest. Hopefully you will still find this version if you don't live in a climate which can provide very low temperatures. And actually I think it's less hassle if you don't necessarily need to provide snow to your Selagini cristata. Alrighty, so if you'd like to see more videos with orchids, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a regular basis. Feel free to leave me questions or suggestions in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time. Bye!